In this example, we're going to be looking at string manipulation and we're looking at how to find out if a word is a palindrome. And this is an example of the technique where you are building or constructing a string. So, what is a palindrome? Well, a palindrome is a word that if you spell it f from the front to the back or from the back to the front, it reads exactly the same. Like the word mom, it's M O M. M, but if you say it backwards, M O M, it's the same word. That's how what a palindrome is. So, like noon is a palindrome, race car is a palindrome, taco cat is a palindrome. So, we want to write a program that's going to check if that word is a palindrome. So, let's go see how we do this in Delphi. So, yeah, we've got a program where we're going to be taking a value from some sort of string. Um, from Edibox, we can take a string and we're going to check if it's a palindrome. So, as I said, a palindrome is a word where if you say it front or backwards. So if I spell noon backwards, it's going to be first the N, then the O, then the O, then the N. It's exactly the same as if you said it from, from front to back or back to front. Um, the word hello is not a palindrome because if I spelled that backwards, that's not, that's definitely not the same word. Um, so definitely not. So race car, that's an example of a palindrome because there you can see the race and then you can see the word car. And then taco cat, I don't know if you know what a taco cat is. I don't know what a taco cat is. I'm sure you don't have taco cats, but if you did have a taco cat, it's the word taco followed by the word cat. And if you go backwards, that's taco and then a cat. Okay, if you want to know what a taco cat is, you go play a game called Exploding Kittens. They'll teach you about taco cats there. But anyway, so we get the input. So now what do we want to do? So I'm going to reconstruct, I'm going to build a string, which is the, the exact string that is given as input, but backwards. So S word is our string that we're going to get from the user. I want to recreate S word in, from backwards. I want to re recreate it. So I'm making a brand new string. So I'm going to loop through the string. So normally when you loop through a string, you're going to go from one to the length of the string. All that other stuff can disappear from the length of S word. Boom, boom, boom. Do that's normally what we do, but we want to, we need a, a full, full loop variable. So let's make an R. R, okay. So I've got an R loop variable. R equals one to length. That's how you normally loop through a string. So if I've got the word, for example, hello, we normally loop from H E L. But I want to go from the O back to the H. So I actually want to go in reverse order. So I actually want to go from the length. To one. Now, for those of you who remember about for loops, it's not length two. If you're going backwards, it's down two. So from the length down to one. And I want to take each individual character. I want to take S word at position R. I want to take each individual character and add it onto some sort of string. So there I've got a new string. I'm going to construct a new string. Now, if you remember our technique, we said that the first thing is we must initialize S new to some sort of empty string which is quote, quote, boom. There's nothing in S new. It's got nothing in it. And then I'm going to start from the back, from the O. That's going to be the O first. And we're going to say, take whatever's in S new. Take whatever's in S new. Add on the letter, which will start off being, remember if, this, if hello was entered, it would be position five to one. So, the fifth character added onto S new. S new's got nothing. So S nothing plus an O will be an O. And make that the new S new. Then it'll go to position four. Take that L, add it onto that O, and make that the new. So it'll be come O L. And then it'll take the next letter, which is another L, and add that onto what is currently our, our S new, which is O L. And O L L. And then we'll take the E and the H. And so that is how we construct our string, but backwards. Okay, so you see the technique. We are basically initializing S new to a nothing string. Like if we were doing R sum, we'd initialize it to zero. S new is equal to the nothing, the empty string. And we loop from the back of the, the string up until the one, taking each character individually, boom, 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 and adding it on to S new, constructing S new. So that's so at the end of this code, we should have S word, which is the word that we want, and we'll have S new. S new is going to be S word but backwards. Now, how do we know if it's a palindrome? Well, we're going to basically say if S word is exactly the same as S new, there's no difference, then we know that you can read them front and back the same way. If they're the same word, 
if taco cat equals to taco cat, then it's a palindrome. So then what do we do? Well, let's just show message. Nice little message. Show message. I don't think we've got an edit box to display it. Show message. Whatever our word is, S word plus is a palindrome. So there we go. And if it's not, well, then uh, we must say, uh, sorry for you. What we must say is else have our begin end. What are we going to say here? We can say show message. Not show modal, show message. Show massage. Uh, S word. I want to actually see what it looks like. So I'm going to say and S new. Let's put a plus there. Plus, 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 plus. S new. Another plus. Are not the same. They're not the same. So we can see what it's, if it is actually making S new the exact same as that backwards. So S word and S are not the same. So there we go. That's a nice little message. Yeah. Let's try it. So we first get our variable, our word that we want. We construct a very similar version of it, just starting from the back. And now we're here. So from the bottom, now we're here. And then, uh, so we construct that. We compare the two. If they're the same, then it's a bandroom. If it's not, if it's Tucker Cat and Tucker Cat, it's the same. If it's not, it's, an, it's not the same. Let's have a look. What errors do we have, Mr. Long? Oh, why am I put a equal to sign? It's because I didn't say shift. Shift S word plus. It was a printing error. So here we go. Let's see. Obviously, that is not a palindrome. So it goes, hey, hello word and draw all what are not the same. Obviously, they're not the same. Um, but if I say the word uh, taco cat, and I go taco cat. Taco Cat is a palindrome because it's the same back and forth. Okay. Uh, however, this will obviously not work. If I said race car like that with a capital R, that's obviously not going to be, it's not the same because it does consider the same. So if we wanted to make it the same, then you would check if the uppercase of the one equals to the uppercase of the other. That means it doesn't matter what the, what the, the text is. Um, it'll consider it irrespective of its case. It'll be case insensitive or case sensitive. No, case insensitive. So those are not the same, but if you want to say the word, come on. Race car with a capital R, race car. We want that to say, yes, that is a palindrome. You see, this time it does say, yes, it is a palindrome. It covers the basis for the upper the capital letters. So there we go. That's how you check if something's a palindrome. So not only have you learned about what a palindrome is and how to find or not, but you've also learned about what a taco cat is. I just went and Googled taco cat, and just so that you are aware there is such a thing as a taco cat, there's lots of taco cats. There's plenty of taco cats. So if you think there's not something, just go search for it on the internet, and I'm pretty sure it exists somewhere on the internet. So there's your different taco cats. So now you know. For more videos in this video series, as well as the other examples and other techniques on string handling, as well as other RT and Delphi related content, go to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, give us your feedback, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. 